All right, UGA season four, week three actually. Um, I play week three before week two because last week I wasn't able to play with my opponents, so um, we played. We actually planned to play um, on Saturday, but I wasn't able to, and so we delayed the match by one week. Um, therefore, we play on Saturday this week. And uh, today it's Friday. Very weird explanation, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the reason why we play versus uh, Terra Croc um, before my week two opponent. I'm not sure in which order I will upload the videos. I think I will upload them in order, um, just so people don't get um, distracted. Anyways, um, this mat the matchup this week is. It's, it's it's it seems good and bad at the same time. Um, the good thing is, I think in Trick Room our team is really good against um, his team. However, it can be difficult to um, set up Trick Room because he has um, like a lot of offensive pressure with Shield Power plus Dragapult stuff, and. I do not have the best offensive tools versus, for example, Galarian, um, not Galarian, at Paldarian Taurus Water. And he has uh, multiple priority users with Dragapult, um, Taurus, Lycanroc, and Shion Pao. So it can be really tough to um, set up Trick Room. However, um, I think overall it should be manageable. I went for not like a super hard TR. Is this, is this our opponent? Is it, is it really Marin called? We shall see. Um, I think it's official rules 3, right? Um, yeah, let's see. I, th I think it is. The right guy. Um, yeah, as you can see, I I run a mix of Trick Room and Tailwind because um, I, at first I had Slowpoke Belly Bolt over uh, Ting Lu and Dreadnought, but I figured I like I figured Belly Bolt does not hit hit enough Pokemon on his end to um, justify it. So let's see what um, he will bring to the table. Good luck, have fun. Uh, I expect Dragapult Shin Power for sure, Tauros, Faldeon and Serena are must brings as well, in my opinion. And then it can be tricky, I think like Colossi could be really troublesome because my team this week is really physically offensive and if he runs like Iron Defense stuff, it can be really hard to get through that. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I think Dawnfen is also like... Decent bring just to cover for the belly bolt option in TR. Um, Gumshoes, I don't really see. Yeah, I like more could be an option just so he has more priority, although I don't think it's too likely to come. Um, what else does he have? Um, okay. No Dunfan. So Trick Room would have been even better. Or is even better because we still can bring Trick Room. Okay, what how do we handle this? Um We could go fast mode in the lead and trick room in the back. Or we could go all out bulk. Do we go for this? With Hariyama Ting, Ting Lu in the back? Um, I think so. I think so. 
Oh, I did not. I, I forget to have a notebook. Not a notebook. Um, something to write notes. To take notes. Okay, let's see. What does he bring? Shield power dragger put. Okay, let's see. Is it? Is it uh, some sort some sort of clear amulet? Okay, we can intimidate this guy. Okay, Dragapult is um, clear body, which means we can um, we can let me think. We can um, set up a reflect against it. Um, I think we go. I think we play it like this. Okay, Terras. Hit Terras right away. Dragapult. Terra ground. Oh, it's ground. That's really interesting. Psych oh, Psychic Fang. That, that's how we can break my screens. Really interesting. Don't tell me he just kills Arcanine right away. Oh, that's, that's really fucking bad. I did not know this thing gets Psychic Fangs. Um, that's pretty much worst case scenario. Um, do we bring Ark 9 or do we bring. Uh, do we bring Tinglu or do we bring Harry? Um, I think I go for Tinglu. And we got Terra Water GR. Man, where's my pencil? I need something to take notes. Here's the pencil. Okay, um. Ah man, not having um, not having psychic things on my mind was, was really tough. Okay, there's Taurus Pelderin. It sucks that we have to Terra um, Clefty, but we are kind of forced to. They don't know the item on the dragger pulled. This makes this makes me think it's uh, actually choice banded. Because this did way too much damage in my opinion. Should be choice, should be choice. Um, with that in mind, I think we can body press it and just dazzling gleam. Wow, this does absolutely nothing. This also does not a lot. Okay, he wants to snipe thing Lu. I think he might be able to. Although not not worth waiting ball. 
Okay, crit kinda sucks because now I'm most likely in aquated range if he has it. But at the same time, I could get a double KO here. Yeah, he's really prepped for um, Reflect. With Raging Bull as well as Psychic Fangs. But Pult, Pult is definitely Choice Bandit. No doubt in my mind. Man, Tinglu doing no damage at all really, really um, annoys me. Okay, Taurus going for the Protect. Let's see, can we KO Dragapult here? Yeah, we should be able to. Okay, this, this is still winnable. Definitely winnable. It will be tough, but it's, it's manageable, I think. Okay, there's the Colossal. Um, I think versus Colossal, it's best. It's in my best interest to just sand tomb it and Dazzling Gleam. I don't know if Colossal has a way to KO my Clef Key. If it has a way to KO it, um, this would be really bad. We see, we see. But, like, Bulk Up Hariyama seems really good in the end game. Okay, goes for a double protect, so Taurus should go down. Heatwave, yeah, this will not kill me. It's Life Orb, okay, Life Orb special. Cool. And it's yeah, it's not choice. Uh, it's not uh, policy because it's life up. Okay, okay, okay. This seems actually pretty good overall. How much damage does um, Shin Pao do with Psychic Fangs to my hurry? A lot. Okay, last turn of TR. Colossal Lord sped both of my mons in. Last turn, right? Yeah, I think it did. So overall, I think it's best to just double protect here. Although I don't think Colossal will be able to kill Klefki, right? So I might have, and if, like, yeah, I think it's better to gleam just in case, because I didn't. Pay attention if um, he how much he damage he did last turn, honestly. I think we will survive, and with Life Orb Chip, Gleam Chip, and Sentinel Chip, this might be enough to get rid of Cole. Although I don't think it will be. Yeah, but it's close, it's close. Okay, um, let me think. We outspeed Cole with both Pokemon, so there's no way Cole also gets an attack off. I think we should body press the Shin Pao. Because Cole is not a threat to Mariama. And maybe Gleam? Because this way we break a Focus Sash 
Guaranteed. Yeah, I think that's the play. Ice Spinner. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine with me. And now we should go down to Life Orb. Okay, Earth Power. And Shin Power is not choice, but it's not Life Orb. So I really don't think there's a way it can KO my Hariyama. Because Adamant does 74 damage at max. So we just drain punch. I think that should be game. Yeah. Okay. Managed to come back after a terrible, terrible turn one. Like turn one we got nothing off. Like absolutely no no shot. Like game turn one was Totally, totally um, terrible. But um, overall, really, really strong comeback. Okay, I think we might go with um, the Vivillon Taros stuff for game two. Maybe. Mm, let me think. It's actually worth to do that. Especially with choice when the dragon pulled. Because dragon darts should hurt quite a bit. But if we get it off, could be amazing. Could also go like Klefki Vivillon. Guaranteed Trick Room. Doesn't seem too bad to me because in Trick Room we kinda owned him. Doesn't seem too bad to me overall. Because this way we, we are not forced to Terra Klefki. Although Dreadnought, like, Dreadnought could be, could be decent. It really could. I'm just not too, sh too keen on it. I'm not too keen on Dreadnought overall. I think this is just a little bit better. And if, if this does not work, we will go for Dreadnought Vivillon for game 3. Because like if we go with Dreadnought Vivillon, what do we have in the back? Like Klefki, Hari, doesn't seem too good to me. But this is what he brought. I think this is overall a little bit, little bit, little bit better. Okay, it's a Terra Ground Bandit uh, Pult, Life Orb, Heat Wave. EP coal. Uh, we don't know any item. We don't know the item on the shim pow. It's it's definitely not a choice because it has um, switch attacks. I assume it's focus slash or something like that. Okay, same lead. Interesting. If I would be confident that Klefki survives the turn, we could also go Dazzling Gleam. I don't think it's worth overall, honestly. Although we would get an extra turn of TR this way. It just can he KO Klefki. 
if I do that. I, th I think the answer is yes, he could. He could KO Clef if I. If I uh, next turn. Oh! That thing is faster than the Dragapult, actually. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, um, but this, like, now I'm even more confident that this is, um, like, Focus that shin power. I think now is a really good time to bring out Hariyama. I want to save my Klefki. And with Ting Lu on the field, um, Cole shouldn't do too much damage to Ariyama. Okay, there's a Terra on his end. Let's see what what it is. Cool. Terra ground. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. Earth power. Probably into the Clefty set? No, into the Harry set. That's fine. That's completely fine with me. Okay, we go for bulk up. Um, okay, now we go for body press onto this thing because I think it could protect. If like if he protects and attacks Harry, I will lose Harry, and I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. So I think it's in my best interest to do this, right? I think so, I think so. I could also double call, but um, maybe he protects call. Okay, there's the Taurus. I'm clear amulet for a reason. Ah, protect, okay. But this means I can double that thing next turn. Without too much drawback. Heatwave. We have fixed that for a reason. Okay, no burn, that's like. Ok, 
Okay, give me back my HP. The Raging Ball into... Ting Lu. Okay, now we can body press you. How many turns of TR are left? The last one. So maybe protect is the play. This way we can KO the coal next turn. Yeah. Because everything else is physical. And shouldn't be able to touch my Hariyama for too much damage. Oh, explosion. That's a cool one, that's a cool trick. I was kinda close to the project, but um in hindsight this might have been the better play. Because I still could have went for KO and Cole next turn and um, just woke up in his face. That's fine. If we get another trick room, which I think we will be able to, this game should be over. Saving Klefki um, was really key. And he does not have Terra anymore, so he can't Terra ground me. I think we have to Terra Ahari just to get rid of the weaknesses with that we have. There's the drag I pulled. Um. I think he will U-turn my thing do anyways. Honestly. Just in case he doesn't, I will go for this. And do we drain punch Taros? I think so because he um, because he went for he went for Project last turn. Raging Bull. Oh, that, that, that this has a lot. Dragon Guard. Not enough. Not enough. Okay. So, Payback should definitely KO um, Dragaput, I think. I'm glad I didn't go for Dynamax. Uh, Terra, because then Ting Lu would have taken both attacks. Why does I do so little? Okay, but one cool play we could do is switch out Ting Lu into Klefki and Terra Ferry because this way um, Taurus will become useless. No, Dragapod will become useless because it's locked into Dragon Dots. And uh, next time we can just go for Protect 3R. Oh, that's not good. Because now I'm maybe in range of Shinpao. Maybe not, we'll see. We, we shall see. The good thing is Dragapult is completely useless. 
This is what I have on the board. Okay, Sacred Sword does 39% max. So I think TR is really safe. Like TR, protect. Although I also don't think he can KO Hari. And I think he can only KO one. Either I get TR off or I get Drain Punch off. Because I have Thick that. So I don't think Ice Spinner can KO me, right? Yeah, it does nothing. And Dragon Guard is useless. Okay, this this is game. Oh, Terra Fairy Hariyama, let's go! Hariyama the GOAT! Hariyama the GOAT! Hariyama the actual fucking GOAT! I love Hariyama, it's, it's such a cool one. I love it. The, the one thing it has above Iron Hands is Bulk Up. Like, Iron Hands does not have Bulk Up, which Hariyama has. That's just so good. I love this Pokemon. Yeah, get out of my way, drag up for it. Get a hit in your face, punch in your face. Bye bye. GG's to my opponent. Really cool team. Um, really, really cool team. I think, like, the approach with Terra Ground was really smart because my team actually has some major ground weaknesses. So, um,. Trying to take advantage of it was really smart, um, but overall his trickle matchup is just not it's, it's, it's just not, not good enough. Like as soon as trickle goes up, yeah he has colossal, but um, thick set Hariyama like with Ting Lu next to it, it just takes hits like it just takes the hits like there's no way um, he can KO out at some point. I think like if he had um, wave crash. Tauros, it would have been a different game because then you probably KO Ting Lu um, a little bit earlier in game one, and you definitely get rid of Hariyama game two because um, I wouldn't take two wave crashes, but I take two raging bolts. Um, so this was really key for me that he does not have that he did not have um, wave crash. I get it. Like at some point, like it's it's kind of hard to run um, multiple water moves. It can be really tough, really tough, um, and like having as much as many options versus my screens as possible is probably the right approach. Um, next time, I, I like I really have to check move sets. Um, I didn't put too much time into building this week because honestly, like I'm um, I'm really busy at the moment. Um, especially like having to build. Um, team like within within an hour is, it can be tough but um, I should definitely check move sets a little bit more like I, I didn't have psychic things in my mind at all in my mind like Hariyama was completely safe versus Jim power because I was like I have thick that I'm a fighting type like what can it do um, and then there goes uh, there comes um, the psychic things anyways um, yeah good luck have fun for the rest of the season um, thanks for watching thanks for the battle and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the match um what was the mvp of the of the episode of the week i think <laughs> hariyama has a pretty strong case um but klefki definitely like without klefki this would not have been able like it i wouldn't have been able to to win this because like it's it's in this matchup it's better than slowpoke because it does not have um, as many weaknesses and it's really bulky as well so without Klefki I, I, I don't win this match at all so it's, for me it's between Klefki and Hariyama anyway um, see you in week 2 and week 4 until then yeah have a good time bye bye